Hey all, it's fucking Raymer again. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Everyone has, I've been reading online lately, everyone has been giving their opinion on who's better, Iron Maiden or Judas Priest. So I'm going to give my thoughts on the subject here. So we all know Judas Priest started first releasing albums in the 70s. So you really can't compare that with Iron Maiden as Maiden didn't start releasing albums until the 1980s. So I'm going to include Judas Priest's 70s output also. So for Judas Priest in the 70s, we got all these albums here. Rock and Roll Up, Sad Wings of Destiny, uh, Sin After Sin, Killing Machine, Stained Class. Out of all these albums here, the only one I really don't care for is, is a Rock and Roll Up. Stained Class is one of my favorite Drew's Priest albums, and Sad Wings of Destiny, great fucking album also. So, 70s output for uh, Drew's Priest for myself, very powerful. Some will say it's their favorite fucking era, and I could see why. Then the Judas Priest came out with their 80s output. Give me a minute here, please. Their output here. You've had um, British Steel, uh, Point of Entry, Screen for Vengeance, Defenders of Faith, Turbo, and Ram It Down. Of all these six albums here from Judas Priest 1980s albums, there's, there's actually three of these albums I think are really good, which are British Steel, Screen for Vengeance, and Defenders of Faith. Classics, to me, must own albums. As for Turbo, well, everybody knows what they think about that album. There, I have mixed opinions. I don't mind that album. It has grown on me a little bit. Then there's Ram It Down, which, yes, it's got a little bit more extra Judas Priest old school elements on it, I find with LM there. So their 1980s out output, um, verdict for me is three strong, powerful fucking albums. So that's Priest. Then we go to the 1980s Iron Maiden output, which, well, we should all know this by now. If you don't, you're living under a fucking rock. Here they all are, the bad boys. You've got Iron Maiden, you've got Killers, Number of the Fucking Beast, Peace of Mind, Power Slave, Seventh Son of a Son, Son of Somewhere in Time. You cannot go wrong with any of these albums. They're all fucking classics in my opinion. They're all masterpieces, untouchable material right here. So my final verdict for the 1980s, Maiden all the way, even including the Judas Priest 70s material. I still give, me, I still give Maiden their victory for stronger albums overall. Like I've said before, Iron Maiden's 80s output is fucking untouchable. Holy fuck. Which leads us to now oh, the 1990s. We've seen changes from our favorite bands, you know, in the 90s. Halford left and Dickinson left. It was tough for time for these classic metal bands. Start off with the Iron Maiden 90s output. Started off with No Prayer for the Dying, which I, you know what, there's a lot of that album I don't mind at all. I'll have to say it's not a bad album at all. Then we had Fear of the Dark, which I think is completely fucking, it's just a dud, except for three songs, and we don't know what happened after that. Bruce Dickinson left. Blaze Bailey came in and started on The X Factor, which I like that album. It has grown on me a lot. It's a, To me now, it's a great album. A lot of people still have mixed opinions on that, but I think it's a great album. Then there's Virtual 11, whatever, XL, whatever. I don't care for that album there. There's something different about that album there. There's maybe one or two songs I don't mind on that album there. So, Iron Maiden's output for the 1990s. It's a dud. Let's not kid ourselves. Judas Priest output for the 1990s. Three albums released. The first one was Painkiller. Holy fuck. Wow. My favorite Judas Priest album. It is an amazing album. It's a fucking classic. Nothing bad. What can you say? Then after that album there, Rob Halford left the band. Tim Rip Rowans came in and he joined as the new vocalist. First album he did was Jugulator, which I don't mind this album here. It's got some great fucking songs on this album here, which I find. Then Demolition was next. And yeah, I went a lot back to their Turbo era, which turned me off a lot again. There's some, Like I said, there's some songs I don't mind all that. So my 1990s verdict is Judas Priest all the way due to painkiller. Enough fucking said. Then we get to their current stuff. 
current Iron Maiden. Bruce Dickinson returned to the band as vocalist. And we have all these albums here. Started off with Brave New World, which I don't mind that album. There's a lot about the album I do like. And some of it, some of it, I, there's a couple songs I really don't care for in that album also because I find it was too long. But overall, it was a strong, It was. it's not a bad album. It's a pretty good album, actually, if you don't ask me. I mean, pardon me, if you ask me. Then after that album there, we got Dance of Death, Matter of Life and Death, Final Frontier, Book of Souls, and S Sin Justo, which I find all those albums fucking boring. I find them repetitive and way too fucking long. Just not for me. I just, like I said, they're fucking boring shit in my opinion there. So that's Maiden's current output, in my opinion. Long songs, Bruce's vocals are shot, sorry, but it's true. Judas Priest current output. Rob Halford returned in time for Angel of Retribution, which I enjoyed that album. I like it a lot. I think it was a great comeback. Nostradamus was the next up to that, which, no, I did not care for that one there. Redeemer of Souls. There's, a, there's songs on this album I don't mind, but but you know what? Uh, you know, overall could have been a better fucking album. Then we got Firepower and Invincible Shield. Holy fuck. I think those two albums there are fucking great albums. It's the best one-two punch Judas Priest has done since Screaming for Fucking Vengeance and Defenders of the Faith. I've got nothing bad to say about those last two albums there. It's like, wow. I can't believe this band is still making great shit given their age and Rob's voice. Unfucking believable So, the current stuff, Judas Priest all the way. Which leads me now to my, to, to my current, I mean, pardon me, to my verdict now in this whole situation. After doing all of this, I like Judas Priest more than Iron Maiden. I think they've got better overall fucking albums. Yes, Iron Maiden's got that a legendary 1980s catalog, but that's it for actually me. Judas Priest to me has their 70s catalog, which is fucking great their 1980s uh their 1990s well only painkiller which is a fucking must own and their current releases i find are stronger albums overall so like i said i in this in this case here this whole situation i think judas priest is the better band overall but hey that could just be me let me know what you guys think on this situation here who do you like who do you like more judas priest or fucking Iron Maiden. Let me know. Leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Stay fucking heavy.